In Exodus chapter 25, well, the story begins, the chapter starts off with an offering where God instructs Moses to have the people give an offering. L listen to these verses. It says, Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering from every one who will give it willingly. With his heart he shall take my offering. So with the heart, it's, it's voluntary. And they're going to give probably the stuff they brought from Egypt, all the gold and things that the people gave them. And it's going to be used inside of and to build the tabernacle, a place where God will meet with people. Because God always uses people to reach people and to be a part of the worship that he brings from people to himself. So in this tabernacle, there'll be all kinds of, well, instruments and symbols of worship. There'll be candlesticks, there'll be showbread, there'll be holy of holies, there'll be all these things that are created that later we'll see are symbols of what God does through his son, Jesus Christ, and what he does with us. We become light, we become salt, we become bread, like Jesus is the bread of the life. And this all starts here as people voluntarily give so that a place of worship can be established for the Lord. Exodus chapter 25 sets the stage, if you will, for God to begin to reveal his ultimate plan of salvation in Jesus Christ and how we become instruments of worship for the Lord and to the Lord. And there's great symbolism and great power here for you and I as we read through Exodus chapter 25, the beginning and the establishing of the tabernacle.